Hi, everybody. Uh, we'll talk today about Social Content Factory. So I'm Julien from Prodigious France, business director. And uh, je suis Kiev uh, Ducharme. Uh, je, je suis ici à Londres pour Publicis Communication. Alors je travaille à travers uh, toutes les agences uh, de Publicis à Londres. Vous parlez à deux Oui. Uh, oui. OK. So if you, if you are two to speak, you have yeah. it's a directional mic. OK. OK. <laughs> I'll try your best. Thank so you. Let's start now. Um, so today we'll talk about content, creating content that matters. So what do we mean by that? Is as you know, uh, it needs to be compelling content, uh, fresh content, uh, reacting to news as today, um, with a broad variety of content because you've got many channels in a large volume because there is always, always on content on every channel, every month, every week. But there are issues as today. So the traditional model has an issue in terms of variable budgets, variable timelines, in terms of, for example, a video will take 10 days instead of five days. You, you never know how long it's going to take to create the video. So then it impeaches the anticipations, the synergy regarding the content creations. And lastly, the validation process with marketing is sometimes long and fastidious. So how can we speed up these things? is by changing the traditional model that... Uh, Absolutely. Keep, yeah. So the traditional model very much comes from um, creating TV advertising, um, but obviously it, it's not sustainable in the content world. So if we look at defining the social calendar, then bringing this into the design space, then creating an estimate uh, for production, we often find that it doesn't fit the budget that we have. Um, so we then arbitrate on the quality and the volume of the content we're able to create and end up spending more money. And it all comes to an equation. So type of content times volume, time design, time cost equals the budget available. And that's not always the reality. So what we need to do is plan ahead to be able to create content in bulk and, uh, for example, plan ahead for the year instead of just for every single piece of content. And that's what we do with our clients. Um, so how we do that? Uh, we have created a new approach, uh, called Social Content Factory, which is based in two, uh, two steps. The first one is the design shop, where you do the framework, and then you prepare everything with productions. And then the factory, where you repeat with consistent price and timeline. So let's talk about the design shop. So what do we mean by that? What are the deliverables? And what's the point of this phase? The design shop is basically bringing everyone under one roof, all sat at the same table to be able to create a solution from you. Uh, so that's from the social planner to the, the marketing team will define the budget and the marketing objectives. Um, the design, so that consists of the copywriters and the art director. And then we have uh, the producers that will make sure that we can deliver on time and on budget. And together what they create is a social calendar for the year. Um, they also uh, create the content playbook, which is in old school of adver advertising used to be called the, the brand guidelines. So we now have a playbook that say this is what every piece of content needs to um, look like. And that's from a quality perspective that's extremely important. And all together, they will um, create the production calendar for the client to sign off. Um, and finally, the cost, which will be obviously transparent and give you um, an opportunity to review what you're going to spend throughout the year. Um, across all of your brands and the content that you're creating. So what's in the content toolbox? What is the brand guideline, basically? Um, it's all about uh, setting boundaries, frameworks with the creative. So we'll define what type of video shooting we have to do, how many actors in the video, what type of light need, needs to be used, location, etc. So by Designing these frameworks, we know that if the creative stay within this framework, we know the cost and the time it will take for each video, for each post Instagram or Facebook. Um, so basically, when I talk about timelines, is we can achieve a dedicated timeline. So when we define the framework with our clients, we can say exactly, so if you give us a brief, 15 days later, you'll have the video on time with everything done properly. So only if we stay within these frameworks. So that's why it's very important to have production and pre-production people with the creative working together to making sure that we stay on the uh, budgets and timelines. 
this will allow this will allow the marketing into uh, for example they know there is Halloween in 10 days they can give a brief 10 days before and they will have the video on time so it's very reactive and quick so one of the one of uh, an example about the uh, the approach is the pre-selection of talents and models as we know when you decide to do a video for uh, January you will do a casting to find actors casting take times validation process and everything but then the next month you are doing another video so you have to do another casting to find another actor what we do is we pre-select and we do a casting at the beginning of the year you'll select five actors and we do we will use them through the year so Certainly, we don't have to do casting all over the year. It's just one casting, and then in, if in March you want to do a video, we already have those five actors. We just call them, and it's simple. There is no process, no validation. It's done. And also, we are using um, a solution that we propose to our clients and ourselves. is the uh, talent source model platform. So it's basically referencing all the freelancers in France that are available with rating from previous clients and also example of their previous projects so that you can see what they've done and if you agree, you can take them. Second tool we are using for clients instead of delivering the assets into a CD-ROM or USB key or by email or we transfer, we set up a DAM. So all the assets are delivered into a DAM, a SaaS solution and we can do even more for some clients. We've integrated the DAM within their CMS e-commerce website so when we deliver the asset, it goes directly into the CMS and they just have to click publish. And it's done on the uh, uh, web page. Facilities? So um, obviously not all content is created equal and uh, we offer different types of facility where we like to, um, to, to set up our offering. So the, the one of the very popular ones that we have is the, the client premises where we basically put a team on site in your office. It's very easy for you to then uh, plan with the team, uh, review the work, as well as approve it very quickly. Um, we also have the larger scale studios that we have just outside of Paris and we are creating at the moment in London where we can uh, shoot content 24-7 um, and we have in-house teams of directors and operators always ready to, to shoot work for you. And we also have the outdoor shoots that obviously are live action, they take a little bit longer to plan, um, but it's when a location is required that we go for an outdoor shoot. Um, so Second stage is when you've defined the frameworks, so we know everything and that the, the, the definition of the framework basically, we go into the factory. So what it means is now we know the cost for a video, we know the quality that we want for each video or assets into Instagram or Facebook. So we build a monthly production calendar saying two days a month, we have the producer on, uh, on side, we can do the, the content and we know exactly the cost for one day of productions so we can do the monthly cost. Then we produce content, we distribute the assets, and measure performance. Then comes the next month, we obviously know that maybe we need more assets or less, or more videos. And then, so for example, instead of one video, we need two videos. So we, need, we know the fixed price of one video, so it's just time two. It's not like exponential budget. And then defining two videos per month, we'll go into the build monthly production calendar, so it's two days of production, for example and goes a cycle. So it's very fixed term, fixed price, fixed delay for the whole year if we stay within this framework that we've defined with you. Um, we want to show you a quick video uh, about what we've done before, but it, hopefully, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, we won't be able to show you a video. I don't know if... I don't know. Okay, can we show the camera can display video? Now! <laughs>
So here are a couple of examples with the brands we are working with. So L'Oreal Group, for example, um, jewelry in terms of Cartier, Van Cleef and Arpel. We're also working with uh, LVMH, uh, Chanel, um, um, and, and Lancel. That was the, the few examples. Um, thanks again for your time. Um, there is a booth uh, outside of the room for Polyjuice. So if you have any questions about our model or approach, please don't hesitate to ask any questions or contact us uh, outside. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Yeah.